so you got your Microsoft Learning Pathways site deployed and you know there's some pretty awesome training right here but now you want the same training the same products to appear on a different site right so you go into your SharePoint site directory you say you know what I would love to have it here in Contoso Web 2 all right so what would you do obviously you're gonna start by adding a new page and on this page let me just make a blank page for right now I'm gonna try to add that web part because that's all it is right this thing right here in learning pathways is just a web part I go to the site and I say okay let me add a web part here and le look for learning pathways not there now the reason it's not there is because this site doesn't have any idea what learning pathways is unless until you add the app for learning pathways manually here so the way you would do that from the same menu here I'm gonna click on site contents or I can just click on add an app directly here actually add an app so at the site level I'm going to now look for the learning pathways app here it is click on that and this has to be done for every site manually unfortunately that's just how it is so now it's adding it I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to site contents and here it is it's being added so it's kinda of grayed out right now I'm gonna refresh and see if it's there here it is okay all ready to go so once again I'm gonna go add a new page start fresh and this new page I'm gonna go ahead and now try the same exact thing learning pathways ah there it is I click on this and the same exact experience the same products and all that stuff is available here now keep in mind that this is the central view of what you see here and same thing in the learning pathways site which you see right here when the when you send the users here so if you end up making changes to this web part so you know if I say I don't want folks to see planner or forms or something else because we're just not ready for it if you remove it from here it also gets removed from there as well what I mean by this once again let me actually okay I gotta put a name in here first put down M365 learning and publish keep in mind I'm the admin right now so what you're seeing is all the admin view uh, the user will not see some of the administration stuff so as a user I say you know what I'm gonna change some of the stuff around because I don't want them to see like I said planner or forms or something like that so I click on this gear icon but what happens then if you look at the address bar here it's actually taken me to the main learning pathways site the main admin thing so if I go ahead and say you know what I don't want them once again going to planner here and uh, if I hide this here which I can do it's going to hide it in all web parts everywhere that this is deployed okay I can't do it per site so please keep that in mind now in terms of customizations what I can do so in Contoso Web 2 I can do the following I can edit this page edit the web part and in here if I decide that in this particular Contoso Web 2 I just want users to see specific things like uh, let's say I want them to see only Excel content okay I can do that click on apply and now it's only Excel content so now if I republish when people come here they will only see these particular playlists that are for Excel and this change just happened here if I go back to the Microsoft 365 learning pathways site and the, go to the web part there that's still gonna remain just like that so that's a good thing but also keep in mind that any of this data is viewable by any user of this site so whoever can come to this page will be able to view all the content I cannot security trim it I cannot say that specific users or specific users in specific groups can see some you know specific content that is not possible no security trimming in this in learning pathways and since we're here let's dig into one more thing here before we end that I as a user need to be trained need to understand that if I'm going to specific playlist now I can use these things to go to different articles in here I can use this drop down I can use previous I can use next I can do searches 
all that stuff I talked about in a different video video of uh, how the user experience is in, in detail. But main thing I want to point out here is that the user needs to understand here, needs to be trained that if I click on the back button, in this case, it doesn't really, do, it's not doing anything here. And if I if it does do it, it's just going to take me to the different page. Because this navigation in here is to the section of the page, to the web part. I can go back and forward. I cannot use the browser back and the browser forward buttons, okay? That's a big change from user behavior. I don't like it, honestly. It's, uh, it would be easier for my users to just be able to behave <laughs> the way they behave at any other page, but that's just how it is because the navigation is, is local to the web part itself. So keep these things in mind as you deploy the Learning Pathways web part to other sites.